Uh, so here's an optimization problem out of an AP Calculus AB book, and I thought we'd take a look at it. It's two positive numbers have a sum of 10. Find the largest, po find their largest possible product. I guess the first thing I'd do is I'd set up a couple equations. I'd say one that x plus y is going to e be equal to 10, right? Um, this is going to be our secondary equation because it's not what we're trying to maximize or minimize. So this is our secondary equation. So secondary equation here. Then possibly set up our primary equation. And our primary equation is that we're going to take the same two numbers, x times y, and we want them to be maxed. So this is, becomes our primary equation, doesn't it? Okay. So not bad. Um, so I think this problem is really straightforward. You just take a look at it quickly. What I'm going to do here with this here is, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this and I'm going to solve this. Solve for y in terms of x, in terms of x. All right, so that would look like this. Wouldn't it would be that y is equal to 10 minus x. And there was added negative x to both sides, and I got that y value there. So I took this, and we converted it into this, right? So now I'm just going to plug the secondary equation into the primary equation. So. primary equation. That would look like this, I think. Remember, we had x times y is the thing that we we're going to max, isn't it? If you're going to do that, remember that y is 10 minus x. Go ahead and do the distribution here, and we'll get our get our new product. Whoa! Get our new product equation. Our new product equation would be 10 x minus x squared. And let's take the derivative. Take e dx. And that should look like this, shouldn't it? If I take the derivative of this, f, f prime at x is equal to, first derivative of this is just 10. First derivative of this is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2x, right? And this should just follow the same rules that we're always using. Set f prime at x is equal to 0, and therefore when is 10 minus 2x equal 0? And of course, that's when x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5. We go back to the original equation that said that x plus y had to be equal to 10, right? We know that x is equal to 5, so 5. And therefore, y would also equal 5. The product is x times y. We have 5 times 5, and the greatest product would be 25. Hope this is helpful. I'm going to try to post some of the other problems uh, tonight. So hang in there, and good work. Proud of you.